got my ticket for the long way round. I think from the very first movie, you could tell that we all had chemistry as a cast. Everyone was just joking around, and so much of that got in the movie. We knew that something special was happening, but I don't think that any of us really thought it was going to turn into what it turned into. When I'm gone, when I'm gone. We all get along like really, really well, and it's so awesome hanging out with them every day. These are my friends for life, so yeah, Bella's, Bella's for life. life. It's very emotional because this is our last film and these movies have been so instrumental in our lives. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You ain't seen nothing yet. Here we go! In Pitch Perfect 3, you meet all of us in different stages in our lives since the last time you saw us. They've graduated college, have spread their wings, and are attempting to fly. Papaya Blair's delight with a shot of white privilege. Hopefully not becoming the failures we all expect them to be. You see us living our life, trying to figure out which direction we go and not doing so well. I quit my job. You got fired? No, I quit. It's fine. <gasps> oh, come on. This is an overreaction. I would do anything to sing with you guys again. Anything. Every year, the USO puts on this performance to support the troops in Europe. One last show together. Who's with me? Hell yeah. yeah. We just think that we're going to sing for fun and very quickly realize that it's a competition. On the tour, we've got three bands. You guys just sing other people's songs, right? Like a cover band. They're trying to intimidate us. Let's just do what you do. A reef off. Running her hands through my fro, bouncing on 20 balls while they sing on the radio. So wake me up when it's all over. Is it weird that everybody is better at the one thing that we do than, than we are at that thing? All right, ladies, pick up your tits. We're going to show them that we are not a joke. The other two movies are about these band of misfits and how we overcome obstacles. And the next one is about the family that we've created. There's something you should know. Man, there's something about these movies that can make anybody smile or feel something. Sometimes the clothes do not make the mess. Oh, Pitch Perfect really strikes a chord in audiences' hearts because everybody likes a story about triumph and about coming together. Your real family doesn't hold you back. They lift you up. This really is the end of the Bellas as a group, but it's the beginning of the Bellas as a family. Finish this. Yeah! One good thing that I've Bella's one last show together. Who's with me? Hell yeah. yeah! Pitch Perfect strikes a chord in audiences' hearts because everybody likes a good girl power story. I love you, awesome nerds! We love empowering women, whether it's each other, whether it's through directors and producers being involved. We're really proud to have a female director on the film and female writers and an all-female cast. These are my friends for life, so yeah, Bella's, Bella's for life. Alive. We're gonna do this. And to be promoting really interesting, fun stories for women. I will do anything for Pitch Perfect. For Pitch Perfect 3, I was so excited that we got Trish C, because she's another really strong female director. It's been great working with strong, brave, powerful, smart, creative women through this whole process. Your real family doesn't hold you back. They lift you up. Girl power is for real now on Pitch Perfect. Let's talk finish this. We love the messaging to young girls about teamwork, about friendship, and about what they can aspire to in their own lives. Guys, we've never competed against bands that actually have instruments, so what's the plan? Let's just do what we do. You think what I'm thinking? A riff off. Yes, a riff off. Yes! What is a riff off? <laughs> the riff off is going down today. Riff it up. Today we're riffing it. Riffing it hard. <laughs> it's gonna get pretty lit here in a sec. The riff off this time around is different. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. I'm coming out. Oh, you guys just sing other people's songs, like karaoke. Karaoke? <laughs> no, no, no. That's so cute. We're not dealing with acapella on acapella violence anymore. We're dealing with musicians on a tour that play instruments. So ready, so ready. <laughs> There's a new band called Evermoist who are very sexy and 
Moisty. They're led by Ruby Rose, fellow Australian. Yeah, yeah. And calamity, this is serenity, veracity, and charity. If I joined your group, I could be obesity. Oh, the camera's rolling. <laughs> then there's Saddle Up, and they're actually a real country band in real life. It's not acting, we're feeling it, we're jamming. <laughs> they're really like down home, salt of the earth guys. Everybody loves that, right? <laughs> And then there's DJ Dragon Nuts and DJ Looney. Yeah, yeah. Who are also just bringing it. I find myself smiling and like rocking out to them. You can tell they love what they do and their energy is so infectious. It's going down. Turn up, pitch perfect three. Hey! Running her hands through the fro, bouncing on 24, while they sing on the radio. So wake me up when it's all over. We like to keep it oral. Is it weird that everybody is better at the one thing that we do than, than we are at that thing? As far as who won, it would depend on what group you asked. They just disqualify themselves by using musical instruments. We just won. We won, guys. We should go. I feel like nobody can ever really lose a riff off because it's just so amazing anyway. Okay, okay let's go. Hi. We won. Fellas are doing what they do best, quitting. Here's the problem, John. The Bellas are not as good as the other bands. That is a startling insight. We're taking you on a global tour with the Bellas. Welcome to France, honey. Aubrey's dad has a connection at the USO, and she gets us on the USO tour. This is worldwide now. It's all to support the troops. Welcome to Spain, Bellas. So this is the first base. Will we be going to second base with you guys? That's a no for me, so. It's been very heartwarming to work with the military because they've been really been generous to us from day one. I haven't done that many push-ups my whole life, and they weren't even real. The USO tour takes us to different parts of the world and on crazy adventures. If I ever let you down, dozens of examples spring to mind. These movies have always been friendship movies, but this one really raises the bar. I love you awesome nerds! On the first day of pitch, Miss My True Love gave to me My kick-ass Bella family On the second day of pitch, Miss My True Love gave to me uh. Two awesome nerds And my kick-ass Bella family On the third day On the fifth day The third the day The tenth day I'm just waiting, shot! I got a button On the twelfth day of pitch, Miss My True Love gave to me People. Get rid of all the Aka politics. Welcome to Aka Initiation Night. This is like a thing now. The Aka gods have looked down on us and they have given us a second chance. Oh, I am Aka G! Woo! Take the dramatics down a notch. I think we're gonna be Aka awesome. Yeah, that's not a thing. You are such a dis Aka appointment. Yeah, I'm a bird to death because you Aka bitch. Listen up, Aka ballers. Aka huddle, now. This documentary is happening! You're one of those acapella girls, I'm one of those acapella boys, and we're gonna have aca children. We like to keep it strictly oral. Aca awkward. This isn't just any college party. This is acapella only! Yeah. So get prepared to meet a lot of sexually confused men. I don't know what I'm doing here. Aca excuse me? Aca excuse me? Aca excuse me? Aca excuse me? Aca believe it. Aca be the same, bitches! Oh, what is happening? Hands in, aca bitches. Let's Aka finish this. Yes! And what's your name? Fat Amy. You call yourself Fat Amy? Yeah, so Twig Bitch is like, you don't do it behind my back. I trust you will add your own cardio. No, don't put me down for cardio. What are you doing? I'm doing horizontal running. All right, time to drop a smash. Mm. What? I'm just going to pump and dump. <laughs> Take it all in! <laughs>
Oh, sorry, my babes are all crazy. I was just jumping. Babes should never be trapped. I have a feeling that we should kiss. I sometimes have a feeling I can do crystal meth, but then I think, mm, better not. Uh, yeah. Oh. I've wrestled crocodiles and dingoes simultaneously. You guys are going to get pitch slapped so hard, your man boobs are going to concave. Welcome to Spain, Bellas. So this is the first base. Will we be going to second base with you guys? <laughs> That's a no for me, so. This is way too much cardio. Behold! Oh! Oh! Crush it. Are you ready or? You have to audition for the Bellas. I can't concentrate on anything you're saying until you cover your job. You know this sets women back like 30 years. That's work. I would be stoked to start on my... Sorry, I don't say stoked, I don't say stuff like that. Make good choices. I'm pretty cool, you're gonna like me. Yikes. We just wanted to check you out before the world where we're gonna kick your ass. Oh my God. Just because you are making me very sexually confused does not mean that you are intimidating. Who are you? Nobody. Literally nobody. That was bad, too. Reggie? Is it Reggie? Becca? That happens a lot, though. You'd be surprised. This dead air between us is a good sign. Becca out! <laughs> Aka vita sane, bitches! Oh, what is happening? What do you want to watch first? Can we do something else? We could relive my parents' divorce. Or visit a gynecologist. Let's remix this business. Becca the sign! Oh, no. Where did you come from? I've been here the whole time. I'm just small. I think we should change your name to Feisty Mouse. Chris Rock, everybody. You're really drunk right now. I don't no. think you're going to remember any of I'm this. I'm not drunk at all. You're just blurry. I can see your toner through those jeans. That's my dick. I love you, awesome nerds. Becca. What are you doing? Don't. <laughs> if you cry, I'm going to cry. Don't make that face. I'm not doing it. Don't make that face. This is my regular face. So on the tour, we've got three bands. Hey, hey guys, come say hey to the new group. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. We're the Bellas, formerly of Barden University and currently of Life. You guys just sing other people's songs, right? Oh, my god. Um, guys, stop. They just don't like sharing the spotlight, so they're trying to intimidate us. Think what I'm thinking. What do you think? A riff off. <gasps> That's not what oh, I was oh, okay. thinking. Wait, yes, a riff off. Yes! What is a riff-off? Yeah. A riff-off is a little game that we like to play. Mm -hmm. We start with a beat. Oh, yeah, bring it, Bella! <laughs> oh, go, ladies. I'm coming up, so you go oh. get this party started. Oh. I'm coming up, I'm coming up. I'm coming up, so you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said shut up and dance with me. Let me get that beat, beat. Running her hands through my fro. Bouncing my tiny phones while they sing on the radio. It's a remix to ignition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Kitchen. Mama rolling in my six fall. Ba da ba. With all my ballad saying. Swing down, sweet Chevy Sutton. Let's derive. Hell yeah. Swing down, sweet Chevy Sutton. Is that feedback? So, it's singing. Guys, still need that level check for vocals. Okay. Hey, 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 we're not done yet. Oh, baby, we're just getting started. All right, next category. Zombie apocalypse. Wake me up when it's all over. by themselves by using musical instruments. We just won. We won, guys. We should go. We won. Bellas are doing what they do best, quitting. Here's the problem, John. The Bellas are not as good as the other bands. That is a startling insight. We're going to show them that we are not a joke. Let's talk to finish this. <laughs> Try to have some dignity. We don't do anything with dignity, okay? 
What a beautiful group. Every one of them going nowhere.